Welcome back. Dissatisfactory. Hey, I started building this little platform here for our heat sink factory. You know what's funny? You know at this point better than I do how this is going to go based off of the thumbnail. So let's see how things go today. Based on today's earlier video, where we had a little bit of drama surrounding the vertical factory of four inputs on a manufacturer, I decided we'll just do something nice and nice and chill here. We're gonna put together a nice little heat sink factory. We already have the blueprint. It's based off of our black powder blueprint. Uh, so, uh-oh. I'm in buildings mode, sorry about that. We go to sink. We got our nice heat sink building here. There's the front. We have our unusual window configuration. Helps us determine where the front is. And now we just need to figure out where the corner of this is. All right, quick tour of what's going on inside. The idea is pretty straightforward. It's gonna be an all gray building. I'm really getting into the brutalist architecture vibe. And inside, simply put, there's three assemblers, each one making heat sinks, expecting aluminum casting or aluminum casings and rubber in equal proportions. And then right below us here, we have a little bit of a service layer. It's two levels deep, so should be enough considering what we're doing. I was thinking this looked a little funny. Totally unrelated, but you know, fully supported pylon should probably connect to the earth. So we've got our service layer. We've got our first piece here. All of the good stuff comes in right here, which could go ahead and put that in. And if you want to see the blueprint that we're using for this build, um, I suppose I could link the black powder blueprint. Right, so those are our two inputs and then our outputs come out over here. We don't have to deal with that until we build multiple levels. We're shooting for, you know, I don't really remember how many I wanted to start with. Let's see. Yeah. It was right around 200 heat sinks per minute. It's probably going to be closer to 180, though. But we'll see. You know, this would have been a good time to turn that light on. Hmm. But we'll do it afterwards. I just realized it was dark out. Let's build another one of these, shall we? I'm thinking one space then two spaces. Okay, we, we've got to give ourselves some power.
I want to play a game that I know you can play. So that's why I don't use mods. Plus, I'm an experimental branch, so I think mods are disabled. But uh, sometimes I do understand why people play with mods out the wazoo. Then I'm like, you're playing a different game. You're not even playing the game as the chef intended. You're playing some other game. Okay, here we go. At least now we can fly around here reasonably well. So we'll go two spaces. I was going to go one, but now I'm thinking two. So that's one. Sorry, I'm leaning into the microphone here. I am just trying to find this corner and it's tough because now I'm getting shadows. I also want to leave access to this Caterium wire here or Caterium ore. So we're not going to block that. We are going to have to leave room for drone ports. Ah, yes. A little better moonlight. That looks about right. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, not exactly enough room for all the drones. Unless we do something interesting with it. We want five drones. We're gonna have to bring the light all the way over here, then drop it down, then bring up the light, then connect it to here. And realize we've made a mistake and then connect this to over here. Let's see if we can do the next one better than that. So 
So the raw power comes in maybe over this way. Then connects, then goes back. Let's iterate on that design one more time. We'll rotate this to face the light. And we'll have it grab power from this side. collect power from this side. That's probably the best one of them all. All right, we need to put some drones in. I could probably, well, first of all, we need to get the drone port selected. We're planning to have five of these. Yeah, we're gonna have to pick up a bunch of stuff. want these. I do want these drones though. Let's start looking for the actual items instead of just taking a guess. Quick wire. Steel beams. A little bit of staters. We're right on the edge of our wireless power. AI limiters. High speed connectors. Regular frames? Uh-oh. I don't remember bringing out modular frames, but there's 150 of them, so I guess I did. And casing. So my, my thought is rather simple at this point, is that we've got this drone blueprint. We want five of them. Um, why five? One for batteries. I think I actually want six of these. Uh-oh. I spent all that time picking up stuff, and I actually didn't pick up enough stuff. But I think I do want six. I want one to deliver batteries, one, two each for each input, just in case, and then one to export the heat sinks. So yeah, we do need to increase our to-do list by one. 
couple items short. Let's just run back over here and grab these. Okay. I know they're over here somewhere. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's almost ten there. In order to make it happen, we would need something like we said twelve. Let's see, if we put in 12, we could put four, we'll put three of them on one side, those would be the delivery. The battery one can be the furthest away, because it's not really interacting with the buildings at all. Okay, I think I got it. Normally I'd put in conveyor belts, things like that, but I'm starting to think I don't need any of that stuff. The conveyor belts, no. I mean, the conveyor holes. You know, the walls with the conveyor holes in them. I don't think we need that. We'll set up a drone. Blueprint section, please. Drone blueprint remote, thank you. And we'll give ourselves one unit of space. Oh boy, these are bigger than I thought. Which is funny because I built it. You know, we've got that visual bug there, but we might log out and log back in. Oh, that's another way to do it. I could turn these. Well, that'd be kind of cool. Let's do that. ourselves in blueprint mode make things snap much easier and nicer and then we'll just turn it and build the rest of them going out this way
I always want to concentrate when I'm putting in a blueprint. Do I make it touch perfectly? I think so. You know what? I'm going to take my hand off the mouse. And we're going to move it with the keyboard. Right there. Of course, now I have to put my hand back on the mouse to click on this. Got it. Whoa! Almost jumped off in the building into the water there. All right, so we'll build these. We don't need this much room, but... We'll make sure we've got enough space so we don't have to come back out of blueprint mode. We're also going to need to grab some additional concrete. Release 8 is coming out soon, and I'm trying, though I may not succeed, want to get this playthrough done totally in release uh, update 7. Last time, my up update 6 video was like 82% update 6 and 18% update 7 because they released it mid-playthrough. Believe it or not, I mean, the, how dare they? Why didn't they coordinate with me? So now I'm not rushing, but thinking about the uh, ramifications of going slow. And I want to try to get this playthrough totally done so we can start anew in update eight. There. Just one more. I just can't see. It's like no matter how I angle my camera, the contents of the build are always in the way. That looks about right. least convenient one is this one over here, right? So, give me a second. I'm going to have to... So there is this bug right here where it looks like all kinds of craziness is happening with these lifts. I need to log out and log back in in order to get rid of that. So let me just do that real quick. Be right back. Okay, we made it back. And all of our little lift connection issues are gone. And I believe everything's fully connected now. We're on nighttime mode, so we're not going to see anything. Oh, wait. None of these are actually connected to anything. That's the problem. Okay, let's see. Where do we want to connect? Now we're talking. Is 
So this is our... Heat sink... Battery demand... And then here we want logistics. No, transportation, drone. Oh, we forgot to bring motors. Hmm, I'm wondering if I brought motors at all. Let's see. Oh, there they are. Funny thing is, is the batteries are right there, so it's gonna be a short trip. It's just that now that I have drones, I don't want to run stuff if I don't have to. Oh, you know what though? Forgot to bring batteries. Forgot to bring batteries. I would check over here, but I am 99% sure I forgot them all together. Yeah. Let's put on the jetpack and we'll take care of this really quick. Because it is right over the hill here. a lot of them. 199 will be perfectly fine. It's always easier to get back than it is to get out. Oh yeah, I forgot. Just from a local standpoint here, we're gonna make use of this build. If I hadn't deleted it, I could have gotten away with it a little easier, but since we have this, all this infrastructure, look at that, we're even storing power in here. We're gonna receive them, and then we're just going to connect the output to the input. But instead of going here, we're going to go out here like this. Then we're going to build some splitters.
All we're doing here is connecting the drone that is picking up our batteries. To all of our other drone ports. With special focus, of course, on the drone that's actually making the batteries arrive. All right, that's good. So we'll make this one the output port. This one will be one input for one of the ingredients and these two will be the input for the other two ingredient or the other ingredient just to make ourselves we're gonna check aluminum casing and rubber so we'll call this heat sink one rubber demand. Ooh, it fit. It's actually kind of like one dash one. And then we will connect you to a rubber passive. Hey, there's a rubber no battery right there. Perfect. Heat sink one dash two. I was tempted to split these, but I think I'm just going to combine them so it's simpler. And rubber shipper two. Drop a couple of drones on that. That rubber will get pulled in and then stored in the internal storage of this drone port. Why is this light on? Oh, because I'm in night mode. Okay. All of these switches they kind of have a bug. But I'll trust that it'll pop on during night time. Just gonna have to go and flip all the switches. I know. Gameplay. All right, two of these are picking up rubber. And then you, we want to get you to get 
heat sink. Well, well, no. Heat sink one of one. A casing. Then we'll connect that to sure that we've got casing. Ah, there we go. And then you will be number two. Wow, they're synchronized. And then this will be our heat sink shipper. Passive, well, we might call it ship. We need to save a few characters. Passive with battery. Oh, one character short. Let's just say, uh, with battery. That's just to say that this port is going to have batteries. So if we want to direct drones here, doesn't necessarily have to have a battery. Okay. But that's getting ahead of ourselves. Let's get some of this stuff in place. Rubber has arrived. Okay, good point. Let's go upstairs here and put in the drops to start this thing. Just gonna be on the side. Right here. Now we know what we're dealing with in total. We have one industrial storage container of storage already, so I'm tempted to go with no additional storage. What we do have, though, is a need to connect all of these in the most efficient manner possible. So that is an easy way to do one set. I suppose if I don't bring this to the ground, it's even better.
We'll turn that one in to face. We'll turn this one out to collect. And then we'll change our mind halfway through and change this one to also work the same way. The reason why I'm saying that is because if it's... Well, let's think about it. Each machine pro provides 10 heat sinks. It requires 30 inputs. So if we're at 200 heat sinks, each machine, that's 20 machines at 30 inputs. Oh, 600, we're good. We'll do it on one. So my original plan is the right plan. Sorry. We'll bring it in to here, split it, and then go up this way. Wow. It's off by a very small amount, almost like I did it on purpose. I kind of want to correct this just so it's a little easier to connect. That looks about right. And then we'll check this side of the world and see if we've got casings. It's always nice when you actually have casings. You order something and you get it. It's always good. I like building around this water area. I might have to consider something like I know I'm totally allowing myself to get distracted here. Okay. I don't want to just do the same thing with uh, this side of the world. Casings are coming out of here and out of here. Connection is not quite as good. We'll have to have, we're going to do it the straightforward way. I know. 
Um, if we connect it here, like this, and then we go all the way down, it's going to be a manifold. This one's good because all three are getting equal amounts. This is less good. Because the first one's going to get most of it. I guess I don't have to do that, though. So let's not. We'll pull it in here. And then turn it in here. Just so we can maintain that that cleaner man manifold. So these splitters turn to collect. Rotate to collect, I guess, to be more precise. And we collect it from... No, nope, what's going on? Oh, this turned into a merger. And by turned into, I mean, that's what I built. Let's make this a splitter, please. Thank you. There we go. Now all that goodness is spread to these buildings equally. Now all we need to do is get All of this stuff in here. I kind of like what I did last time. I like this lift idea. Oh boy. Okay, looks like we got the casings and the rubber 
all the way in there. Now we just need to get these buildings connected to some power. I think I put the power in the back. Instantly hear them kick on. So I learned from my nuclear power, uh, nuclear waste build that I don't need a million lights to make my point. But it sounds like we're making some good stuff now. And that is happening over here. Ooh, look at that heat sink. All ready to go. All fresh and ready to seek heat, I guess. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Collect that. Collect that. And that's going to go out here. merge all these outputs together. I actually had a super secret playthrough. I play through probably 50% of this game on camera before my 1.0 version that's on my channel. It was so bad that uh, I ended up deleting it. And it wasn't really the, uh, the YouTubery. It was the... It was the satisfactory. It just, ugh, I just didn't like the way it was coming out. It was a mega base, and I didn't quite grasp the idea of belt direction as far as like when you should build belts to go in one direction or the other when you're looking at like inputs and outputs. So I ended up running like really long belts inside a factory that were just sort of moving stuff around from one side of the factory to the next when really it should have just been build and then build the outputs towards where you want the next input to be. So you wouldn't have to like put the inputs on the south side of the building, have everything output on the north side of the building, only to want to use those outputs on the south side of the building. So you have to then run a bell all the way back. All that to say, <laughs> that the first playthrough on my channel is the 1.0 version. And that's where I'm happy that we figured out that you can attach splitters and mergers directly to the lifts. Okay, so we're making heat sinks.
kind of wanted this to be a short, a small window because that's not something people do all the day. So I just want it to be like a bar of color. Whether we get there or not is another question. So we need five of these. Which means we need 15 of these. Which means we are destined to go to our construction area. We're going to have to go to it multiple times. Uh-oh. Don't have a ton of plates. Let's start by building right here. We're going to build five of these. Or until we run out of stuff. this so well. Oh yeah, we're going to have to take those doors off. One, two, three. that one. Totally missed.
Then I suppose while we're here, we should put the merchandise lift in. And since we do have that bug, we're going to have to go in here and flip the switch. Yeah, I think it's working. Uh-oh. I got everything on the same circuit somehow. What have I done? I can tell because this box shouldn't be blue. And this one definitely shouldn't be blue. Let's see. Input goes in there. Output goes out to these lights. These lights are on their own circuit. must have crossed yes I crossed them here and here I suppose we could cheat a little bit. Wait, hold on. I'm getting myself confused. Whoop. Straight into the drink. All right, so this power. connect this one down. And yeah, so we connect this one up. Then the inside of this one connects to the inside of this one. The outside of this one connects to the outside of this one. And then we'll make sure these two are connected. Then we'll connect the inside of this one here and then that here. Okay. Let's see if we can get separate colors again. Nope. Somehow they're all on the wrong circuit. Hmm. All right, that's a bug on my part that I'll have to figure out. We've got 10 more here heat sink factories to build. Let's build those factories.
Oh, wow. There we go. We'll drop this blueprint. We'll call it a heat sink. Uh-oh, missed again. You know, I should probably just delete all the doors. One thing I could do to delete these doors faster. F, control, then pick all the doors. Like this. Then thumb button. Oh, I somehow didn't pick the door first. Let's try it again. Door. I don't know. It's picking everything except for the door. Ah, oh, well. It's supposed to, uh, if I pick a door first and then thumb button, that's weird. Huh. I'm going to have to research what thumb button does when you're deleting. I thought it deselected everything except for the first thing that you selected, but it seems to be doing something else. hesitant to connect the power now. Oh, you know what? I'm working against myself here. We probably should not connect these. to each other. Which one of these is the power side? The center. So we should disconnect this from the other building. Then let you go over here. And we'll disconnect you from the other building. That might do it. There we go. 
we go. They were acting like they were on the same circuit because they were on the same circuit. overdid it on the number of power. Especially since I put in Mark IIs. I probably could have gotten away with one of these per box for the machines and one for the lighting effects. But we're here, so we're going to finish. All right, fully supplied, fully merchandised. Hmm, it's also cost me extra wire. Interesting. Almost done now.
totally ran out of aluminum. So what I was trying to do here is kind of have like the all seeing eye, super secret computer case look. Plus I wanted to kind of have used the um, gridless nature of blueprints, which allows you to build that tiny window, which is really just a full, a full window overlapped by walls. I might have wanted to get a little brighter effect, but I'm a little gun shy because last time I went all in. I got like seven frames a second performance because I had way too many lights in a small area. But that should be it. Hi, big old drone. I go in here and flip this switch so these other lights get in sync. I think we'll be all set. Yeah, this is a twisty, turny thing, but it works. All three of these get stuff. All the stuff gets sent out and up. And then all the results get sent in and around. Uh-oh. My blueprint's got a, a Mark II. Yikes. got to have to fix that blueprint. Luckily, that section, in fact, only does, yeah, it only takes that small amount, so we should be okay. And now we're loading up. Well, I can't see from out here. We're loading up heat sinks. Good amount, too. So yeah, I think that's it. Obviously, I'm going to have to wait till nighttime. You know what, though? We'll do one more thing. We're definitely in decoration mode at this point. That should be enough. I'm starting to think that the concrete doesn't have enough contrast, which is funny because I like it because it doesn't have a bunch of wacky colors, but it is getting a little, it's getting a little plain. Well, at least put a railing on.
Really? Really? Oh, weird. We're just going to leave it nice and open. That's the edge of the map right there anyway, so be a nice little observation area. supporting pillars. There we go. Gives a little bit of a set anyway. And then 
In the next video, we'll make use of those heat sinks and probably a cooling system. But somewhere in... Whoa. It would be cool if we could get the thumbnail to include a drone or two. But I think we're going to have to do the thumbnail at night. Somewhere like that. Okay, we got it. Yeah, we definitely need to get some, I don't know. It's getting a little stark. It's gonna look better at night. I'll have to figure out how we can add some contrast to this. In some ways it looks really cool. In some ways it looks kind of unfinished. But you can't paint concrete is the problem. At least I don't think you can. Oh, you can. But only darker. Ah. It colorizes. Interesting. Well, we'll leave that for next time. We'll see if we can provide some contrast in these builds from a, uh, a color standpoint. But for now, we are done. That's uh, a nice, easy 180 heat sinks per minute. It's going to look really good when it, the night comes. You can always see a little sliver of the red, the RGB. But until then, you'll see the effect of it in the thumbnail. Matter of fact, you already have. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.